there is a trap door which blocks the opening to your pineal gland. So let's open it. There are seven ventricles of the brain, which the ancients simplified to three. As Foth said, the key is three. But to explain the doorway which opens the pineal, we will use the septenary. So the physical and occult currents of the brain, upon moving in their ascent through the spinal cord, must pass through the cerebral aqueduct. An aqueduct is a channel or space in which something, usually a fluid, passes through, sort of like a bridge or a gateway. The cerebral aqueduct is closed by the trapdoor of the pineal gland. If you've ever heard the term of a calcified pineal gland, this is parallel as one's pineal gland isn't activated, hence it is somewhat hardened, inactive, solidified, dormant. Lower on the circulatory, vibratory rates of motion, the door seals the opening of the fourth ventricle and forms a blockage. This stops the contents of the third from permeating the recesses of the fourth to culminate communion with your higher self. To simplify things, the third ventricle can be attributed to conscious awareness or presence of mind, whilst the fourth relates to memory and motion. When stimulated through Kundalini, this trap door stands upright like the head of a cobra. The pineal gland then increases in size, whilst parts of the pineal body vibrate like a serpent's tongue. Check page 341 of Man, the Grand Symbol of the Mysteries by Manly P. Hall. Having removed itself as an obstruction to the passage between the ventricles, this permits the essences in the brain to mingle in a spiritual alchemy. One love, light, peace and power.